This is the plaintiff, Edward Eng. He says he hired the defendant to build him a custom closet for his master bedroom. He paid for wood, but that guy used cheap particle board and he didn't get what he paid for. The unprofessional defendant cut corners on the job and he refuses to give him a refund, so he's suing. For the $1,507.75 he feels he's owed. This is the defendant, Will. He says he showed the plaintiff samples of different types of wood and medium density fiberboard materials for the closet. And the plaintiff picked out what he wanted and approved everything before the job commenced. Bottom line, he did the majority of the closet in one day. The plaintiff was happy as a clam and paid him before he left. Now he's here being sued? Crazy! He's accused of cutting corners. All parties, please join in. Be seated. Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Eng. Yes. You are suing Will's company for one thousand five hundred and seven dollars and seventy-five cents that you want refunded from what you paid him to do a closet that you say is subpar. Tell me what's going on. So I contracted with the company back in April to have a custom plywood constructed closet for my okay, master. Okay. Do you bedroom. have a contract, a written contract with them? Yes, we do. May I see that? Do you have one? Yes. May I see your copy too? I yes. want to make sure we're working off the same thing. So go ahead. So um, I sent him some renderings of my own and uh, he did his own renderings as well too. So we do you have your renderings? Uh, yes, I do. Let me pull that out. And I also have his renderings, his initial renderings. So the contract says custom plywood construction closet cabinets with soft Closing drawers, layout as per approved design, finish as per approved sample. In painted finish or heavy duty laminate. All right, whose designs are these? What is this? Those are the renderings that he sent me, his oh, initial gotcha. renderings. Okay, so are these the approved final plans? Yes, that's the concept, but after that, um, he removed a couple things from there, which is basically the little unit you see in between the drawers on the bottom on the top, uh -huh. he removed that. So the new one was just straightforward. Okay. And that's how it was built at the end. Okay. Um, All know. right. So what happens? Um, you contract in April. When do you get the closet? So he gave a conservative estimate of five to six weeks. I finally get it uh, just over eight weeks later after following up. So the day that he comes to install it, he comes in, the van comes up, and I go and look at the, uh, the, the components to the closet. So I notice that you know there's plywood, but there's also particle board and MDF in there, different materials that weren't approved. MDF for. being medium density fiber board? That is correct. And according to you, the whole thing is supposed to be plywood? That's correct. Why did you write a contract that said custom plywood construction and then show up with medium density well, fiber board? The cabinets are made of plywood. What is not made out of plywood is the shelves because being floating shelves 20 inches deep on a length of 166 inches, if I'm correct, um, first of all, we need a lightweight material and plywood tends to work. So what happens But why don't you just put that in your contract? Uh, because after we talk and we said, this is what we're gonna do, this is the depth that we're gonna do the shelves and all of that, I basically, look for the best material to suit That's that. not my question. Why didn't you put it in a contract? If it's a change order, because you're saying we, that it was yeah, changed, we, then why didn't you just say so? We should have done a change yeah, order, and that's have. my mistake, also, I didn't do it. He comes in, and he starts to install, and there's several issues that you have a problem with. Most of them are encapsulated in a video that you take. Here's a video of the closet, the incomplete closet where I was not able to get a hold of them to come back out to complete it. It's not mounted to the wall. The shelves are not... Um, what date that you take this video? Yeah, installed, which were I'll have to, to check. To it's um, shortly after. Just give me out. a date. The screw holes are already Thank exposed you. and they said that they would put another layer of um, something to cover up those holes. Yeah, now right here, you Remember can't we open the drawer. Yet. 
that drawer can't open all the way. What was the deal with that? Well, the wall is on an angle. Yeah, I know. We decide we were going to make that drawer shorter. Remember, we did not went back and finished the job. I really thought he was, he said he was going to be in China. No, but ha, ha, wait, wait, hold on. You yeah. know your measurements. Why didn't you make the, the drawer no. different well, back then? Him and I, we did the measurements together. We work on that. And when we saw that at the house, I told him, oh man, I didn't pick up on this before. He said, oh yeah, you should have. I should have too. I said, listen, we make the drawer shorter okay, on the yeah, inside. Yeah, you're the guy who's that's, supposed to be measuring. You can see that that's yeah. an angled wall. Okay. Yeah, but that, that was well, planned for the second. Yeah, everything was supposed yeah. to be plywood. You can see from the video was shot in July on there. July second. Okay. And that's part of the board. Chipboard. What day did you do the installation? What and date? Yeah. What date? I don't remember. What date did he do the installation? Yeah. June six. Now on June six, when they're doing that. You actually give them, how much money was this closet going to be, the whole thing? 3500 3500 mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And how much money did you pay? Uh, first deposit was $1,750, $1,750. And then the second payment, which was the day of the installation, was $1,050. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. So now, why did you pay them after seeing all the things you're complaining about? Because they came to your house and they're installing it and then you're complaining about things, and yet you give them another $1,050. You well, couldn't have been that unhappy. Initially, I was like, you know, just get it done because, you know, yes, they use a different material, and I'm, I wasn't satisfied with that, and I needed to actually fly out of China, fly to China because um, my father-in-law fell ill. What happened between June 6th and, uh, who fired who? Did you tell them, don't bother coming, I'm not gonna use you? I, no, I didn't say that, I kept following up. I kept calling up, calling them up, up until June 26th. And then what happened on June 26th? So, after, you know, I called them up, uh, you have some unanswered calls, we went through text messages each and every time, you know, oh, I gotta order the hardware, or um, it's coming. So in the meantime, um, I spoke with a family friend of mine to, who was an attorney to ask him, you know, some advice about how to submit this into small claims court. But, okay, so you had made the decision that you were tired of waiting. Correct. All right, so, and that's because it took another 20 days and you still couldn't get them to come back. Can you show me in your phone the texts that occur in June and July? June and July, yes. Why weren't you going back? When we said, okay, we, fired, we figured it out, we said, I tell him, listen, we're gonna split this in half. I gotta order the material, which- Order what material? Um, the lighter stuff and everything to make no, new No, I don't shells. know what you're saying. That oh, we should okay. already have been ordered because you knew that you were supposed no, to build this. No, 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 no. But these pieces, in order for me to split that piece that you see as one on the center, uh -huh. split it to each side of the wall uh -huh. and create new shelves in between, I had to order more new material because that wasn't part of the plan or the original design. Why? Why, why though? I don't understand. Cause, cause Both we, of these were in the original design. So why not, would... Yeah, but not a split in two. By the, by the time we yeah. split it in two, we need to put the big shelves for more hanging that on the drawings that you have were on the left-hand side, now they were going to be in the middle. That I think on one of the pictures that Edward sent looks like unfinished okay. product because, it, of course, it's no, unfinished. No, I understand that you were supposed to come back. The question mm -hmm. is, why didn't you? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So... Once you pay the balance, if you've seen the alleged defects, are you stuck? Uh, no, you're not stuck with it until you do a final walkthrough of it. After you paid? Ah, that's the problem, yeah. right? No, I think you're stuck with it. When, once you do a final walkthrough, you've already seen the details, the final c conclusion of the project, and that's when you pay. What if the defects are subtle and you just didn't notice it, and then all of a sudden you're looking and it's, ca it's causing problems? You should have taken a better look at it before you accepted and paid. No sympathy down here, going inside the courtroom. We ordered the material, which did take about 15 days to get. I told him and he knew these kind of materials, because it's a sheet nine by five, they only deliver it like, oh, I'll send it to you on Wednesday. It's only a one delivery day that they give you from Miami to Coral Springs. Mm -hmm. So what happened, Mr. Eng? Do you have a finished closet? No. What are you using for a closet? I bought racks and I hang them outside in my Dude, living room. Like what, you know, like what's the point of that? Like, why not let him finish and then see if you're, and you know, cause really the only thing you had left to pay was $700. Correct. I, had, I was out of the country. I needed to be out of the country for about 30 days. Um, at no point did, they, did he con uh, contact me. 
to say, hey, you know, we've got the stuff in our shop. Let's go back and finish it off. So by that time, I had already contacted. But uh, he did. June 26. Hi, sorry, I was on the other line. I will correct. go pick up hardware tomorrow and set up with Eric to come Friday or next week. We'll let you know once I have hardware. And then the next thing you know, you get served with a lawsuit when? It, um, or you got no, the lawyer no, letter. That was Not much served later. with a no, lawsuit. That you was got, much later. You got the lawyer letter. I what later. was the lawyer letter? Mm -hmm. The lawyer letter, letter was August 5th. Oh, goodness. So then what happened on Friday when you were supposed to go do it? Well, we said we were going to talk again, and we didn't talk. I'm sorry. I was Hi, sorry. I was on the other line. We'll go pick up the hardware tomorrow and set up with Eric to come Friday or next week. Did you yeah. come Friday or next week? No, because we were waiting for confirmation on the hardware. And then because he said, I might got to go catch up with my wife in China, let's, you know, I said, okay. Do you we have texts from him saying, sorry, we got to put this on hold. I have to go to China. No, no, I don't. And honestly, I did not call because I said, if he's going to China and we're busy, I'm pretty sure he's going to call me so I can come to the house and do the job. My mistake not to call, but as I can show, we did have the pieces at the shop. I know, but why wouldn't you just call? See, you know, people who communicate understand each other, that's right? Com exactly. And so if you don't communicate, you don't understand each other, you just think you're blowing them off. Of course, that's my mistake. That's what I'm saying. What do you want to do? You're asking for $1,500 back. That's you correct. You have paid $2,800. That's correct. And where do you get your figure? So I did some, you know, calculations. Essentially... In order for me to have someone else finish the work, it's about $1,500. Says who? Show me proof of that. Okay. So I have two estimates here. All right. Um, I think we're done. Um, I think he is entitled to pull the plug on a contract that starts in April, mm -hmm. and on July 26, you don't even answer his last email or his last text. And you just kind of blow him off and say, ah, he's going to China. Um, I think that the amount that he's asking for for a refund is a fair amount. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm sorry that you ordered all this stuff and did all this trouble. A better practice would have been to communicate and exactly. let him know that you were doing that. And since you didn't, and he had no clue until he stands here today, he just, the last he checked, you were ignoring him and nothing was ordered. So from his perspective, he is correct. I'm ordering you to return $1,507.75. Verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck. Thank you. So the plaintiff is going to get the $1,507 back. For, well, you're not surprised, are you? No, but I agree with the judge. If she says so, that's what we're going to do. You agree? It was a communication issue. Exactly. Wasn't it? And My really, mistake. your fault. Yeah. So I gather you've learned something from I, this. I did. Well, good for you. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you very, very much. You must sign some documents on your way out. Here comes Mr. Eng. Think you learned anything from all of this? He's a very nice guy, but it's just his, his way of dealing with um, his business. On, on, you know, communication was lacking a bit. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. So now you're going to get one of the other guys to do it, finish it? Yes. Okay, good luck to you. Thank, thank you very you. much. You must sign a few documents on your way out of the courtroom. Okay. And we're done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Harvey? Um, just one tip. If you are dissatisfied with a product or a service, put it in writing that you're dissatisfied. And if the other person doesn't respond, honestly, it just makes your case stronger.